so hello everyone in the last video we saw how to solve system of differential equation first order differential equation uh, by using the matrix method right so this was the last problem uh, we encountered uh, but in this problem uh, both of the eigenvalues uh, were real and distinct so in this video we will see uh, how to solve if uh, the eigenvalues are complex conjugate of each other or they have repeated eigenvalues so we'll show well two examples so let us first take on the example where the eigenvalues are complex conjugate so let a equal to 3 9 minus 4 minus 3 and the system looks like x prime equal to ax where x equal to your x1 x2 so this is fine now let us find the eigenvalues of the matrix a so determinant of a minus lambda i 3 minus lambda minus 4 9 minus 3 minus lambda equal to lambda square plus 27 so implies lambda equal to plus minus 3 root 3i okay so we have to find uh, an eigenvector so I need to uh, the positive eigenvalue 3 root 3i so note that a times 3 minus 1 plus 3i so this is just usual way how to how do you find the eigenvalues 3 1 minus 3 so in this case you have to find only one eigenvector corresponding to the positive uh, the sign uh, the eigenvalue with the positive sign with i coefficient has positive sign that thing you have to find so once you have found it then the solution solution so it will look like so how will you find the solution so this thing you can write in cos and sine term so cos 3 root 2 t plus i because uh, in our general thing we can we have to do e power the root so e power of i theta is cos theta plus i second theta so it's sin 3 root 3 t times so this is whole thing okay. so now multiplying this we will separate the imaginary part and the real part okay so let us multiply so first term is 3 cos 3 root 2 t root 3 t and along with it uh, we will have this thing cos along with minus 1 and sin with root 3 so minus cos 3 root 3 t minus root 3 because i squared is minus 1 3 root 3 t so this thing we got plus i we can separate out it will give 3 sin 3 root 3 t minus sin plus 3 root 3 cos so this is the thing so once you have found it and then the general solution Ext. so the general solution will not contain any terms of i it's c1 times the first vector minus root 3 sin 3 root 3 t plus c2 times the second vector minus sin 
3 root 3 t plus root 3 cos 3 root 3 t okay so this is our general solution so after that if you have some initial conditions then you can find what is the one answer okay so this was the thing when uh, the eigenvalue of the matrix of the system has complex conjugate the roots are complex conjugate okay so next let us take an example if uh, they have repeated eigenvalues So for this case, we'll just take A as 7, 1, 4, 3. So this is the value. So usual, the system is x by n equal to ax. That is fine. Now let us find eigenvalues. A minus lambda i equal to 0 in place. 7 minus lambda whole square into 3 minus lambda plus 4 equal to 0 so this is equal to lambda equal to 5 comma 5 okay so now if i do a minus 5 lamb 5 i x equal to 0 then we'll find 2 1 minus 4 minus 2 is equal to 0 so you will see here we are finding only one linear independent eigenvector one minus two okay so to find the second vector we have to do some little more work so we got x so suppose the second vector is rho then you have to follow this process you have to a minus phi y that is fine times rho equal to 1 minus 2 this is that is x means we are actually finding the generalized second vector for the system that is uh, if you see that whole square into rho equal to a minus phi y into x because because of this relation uh, a minus phi y rho equal to x so if i apply once it will be x so again in once we apply this this is equal to 0 so actually rho is a generalized eigenvector for the system or oh, if we don't if we have short hole on the algebraic multiplicity geometric multiplicity are not equal then we will have to find a generalized eigenvector so okay so this gives us 2 minus 4 1 minus 2 rho equal to 1 minus 2 that's fine so you can check that rho equal to nothing but 0 comma 1 so once you have the general second vector, then you can find uh, write on the solution, general solution of the system. Hence, the general solution of the system is x t equal to c1 e power of x t, the first vector, that is the usual eigenvector, plus c2 how to write the general second vector so e power 5t times t the eigenvector plus e power 5t the general second vector is e to power 1 so this will be a general solution okay so this was repeated eigenvalues and this was complex So I'll stop it. Thank you.